Uh, just first, before I ask about the game, when did you know that Marcus and Ed were going to be able to go? Um, they were able to do some stuff yesterday, and um, uh, both of them re reported feeling good. Um, you know, obviously, because it such a quick turnaround, um, we weren't able to do too much with them, but we were able to do enough to know that you know they would be able to play. Um, and this is a hard game not to have practice preparation because you know Ed does an unbelievable job, and um, you got to really be prepared for him. And um, and you know I, I I didn't think, and it's my responsibility that I did a, a good enough job preparing our team. So, um, but give Providence credit. I mean, they outworked. Uh, out competed and out executed us in the first half by a, by a large margin, and we were very fortunate only to be down eight points at halftime. Uh, I'm proud of our guys' response uh, after halftime, um, but you know you're, you know, I think we can we can do better. And then uh, with the game against George that Sam had against Georgetown earlier this week. Um, did you see any kind of increased confidence in him or willingness to kind of take over down the stretch like you did today? Yeah, Sam was incredible. Um, and Sam is incredible. <laughs> you know, I mean, he's one of the top players in the country. Um, and these last two games, uh, he really stepped up for us in a monumental way. And, um, you know, that – you know, we we don't even come close to winning this game without Sam Hauser. Coach, uh, down the stretch in this one, there's a, a point where Sam and Joey combined for 19 points in not, not even five minutes. And on top of Sam, Joey just as a freshman, I is this everything you could have envisioned and more in terms of just the combination there, their ability to make winning plays? Yeah, I mean, obviously they have – Joey and Sam have amazing chemistry, and uh, they play really, really well together. And um, you know, they're, they're guy, they're they're two young men that have won a lot of basketball games. And uh, you know, like I feel like that's the priority for them, you know, all the time. And uh, it, that may seem like a simple thing, um, but it's a it's it's not common. And uh, with those two guys, it is. It seemed like Nate Watson was really giving the team a lot of trouble. What really made him such a tough person to match up against? Well, he's a hell of a player, John. <laughs> he's a big time player, and um, um, he's he's wide. He's strong. Um, he plays really hard, and. Um, you know, they did a really nice job of uh, feeding him, and uh, he did a great job of establishing deep post position. And so he's a handful. He's, he's a terrific, terrific player. How important is it to you guys uh, to have days like this honoring Dwayne Wade and the history of the program like that? Well, today's an incredible day for our program. Um, you know, for Dwayne to, to come back and to allow us to celebrate – um, what he means to Marquette men's basketball, uh, Marquette University, um, was such an honor for, for me and for our program. You know, he embodies what we would want all of our players um, to strive to be, uh, obviously as players, uh, but just uh, more importantly as people. You know, he's a first-class elite guy and um, I'm so happy we were able to do this you know for him today and I think our, our uh, athletics department our marketing department did a, just a phenomenal job because when I asked Wayne in the locker room if it was what he had hoped he said it was beyond what he could have ever hoped for and that's a credit to our athletics department they did a phenomenal job, you know, from from A to Z in creating a uh, a day that was worthy of one of the greatest players in the history of the game. 
Coach, how much are you seeing um, this season and, and the value in the Big East when you said it, you, you kind of had a slow start and, and maybe preparation whatnot, but that you can still be able to gut out a win? Yeah, I mean, I'm proud of how we responded in the second half. And, you, you know, you, you got to find a way to win, uh, whether, you know, when, when another team's playing really well, which Providence was, or you, you're maybe a little bit off of who you normally are. And that's a great quality to have, to have a group that can figure out different ways and find ways to win. And our group's done that, you know, so hopefully we will continue to be that type of team. When you're 16 and three and five and one in conference, uh, what do you do to, because in your time, it's sort of uncharted in terms of being with Villanova at the top of the league. What do you do to continue to evolve? Well, we keep focusing on um, the next 200 feet in front of us. You know, we have a lot of room for improvement. Um, we're, we're not concerned uh, about, you know, where we're at in the standings or what our record is. Our, our concern is, are we getting better? And, um, and then hopefully, if we continue to get better, the score will take care of itself. But, you know, we, we can't get wrapped up in anything other than improving individually and collectively as a team. You know, Marcus didn't have his typical Marcus shooting from the field performance, but he drew a lot of fouls, got a lot of rebounds, was very physical. Coming off that big yeah. back injury, did you kind of see anything different about his game today? No, I mean, again, you know, you, Marcus hasn't done anything now for uh, really five days. And so... You, it's the Big East, man. Providence is good, and those kids can defend. And you're not going to have your typical shooting day. I mean, I mean, it's. I know we've seen him put a cape on at different times, but you know, like his shooting was kind of what expected it to be. You know, and, and we got to get back to practicing and get better. Coach, you have three games in the next 10 days, two of them on the road. What are you going to do to make sure your team is mentally and physically prepared for those road games? Well, you know, again, we're not looking at it, you know, what, what the next 10 days hold. You know, we have to evaluate what we did today and learn from it and uh, try to get better uh, from it. And then we got to get to work tomorrow and, and hit the practice floor and get ready for an outstanding DePaul team, a team that could very easily – had the same record as us. And uh, so, um, again, we, we have to stay in the moment and focus on getting better and what's in front of us. That's it. Thanks. Thank you.